Welcome back guys to another penny stock video. I got something pretty unique today, which is a cannabis penny stock. And this guy has a lot of potential. Now we've seen a lot of penny stocks out there. Some of them are losing a lot of money. Some of them aren't really making a lot of money. You probably have seen a lot of hype stocks and like the LIDAR industry. A lot of those companies don't even have any revenue, but they have really big valuations. But high tide right here, they have so many smaller companies that has been acquired by them that they are profitable. Yes, you heard that right. They are a penny stock that's profitable and they are making a lot of money. Look at their brands. They have so many of that, like Grass City, which is this really big e-commerce cannabis company. They have New Leaf Cannabis. They got CBD City. They have a lot of these smaller companies that are combined with it. A lot of you know little companies in their portfolios. It's pretty big. They have a very good value chain. They act as a parent company, and so far shareholders that are buying this stock are really happy because right now we're seeing a massive transition from decriminalizing marijuana and cannabis, and now we have like medical cannabis, and and then we have like recreational cannabis. It's looking very good, especially with a Biden administration. A lot of the Democrats are pushing for the legalization of marijuana. If you check out the overall stock, the ticker is HITIF, and the share prices have been doing extremely well. All the way back in October of 2020, it was at 11 cents, and it hit a peak of 85 cents. Now it's hovering at 80 cents. What's very impressive is after this huge surge in the stock price, shares did not plummet back down to like 11 cents. In fact, share prices hovered at 70 to 80 cents for a while, and eventually it went back up again. There's a lot of buyers, people who buy into the stock, they don't really wanna sell it because they have so many of these smaller companies with it, and these are not small little companies. These are massive cannabis industries that will be growing in valuation in the future with more legalization, and this cannabis industry is growing at an incredible and rapid pace. Keep in mind that I do not own any shares of HITIF, and this video is for entertainment purposes only. If you guys haven't checked out the free Discord server, please do so. The link in the description below. It's free to join 26,000 members. There's also a Patreon link below for exclusive chat room perks. Definitely check that out. Let's check out some of the big things for the company, because if this is a company that doesn't make any money, why should we care? And currently, the most recent financial results of the income and revenue for High Tide just came out. Revenue, in fact, increased by 180% to $23.2 million in the third quarter of 2020. That's massive. And the gross profit, guess what? Increased by 202% to $9.2 million in the third quarter of 2020. These guys are making a lot of money and High Tide is profitable. Unlike other cannabis companies and other companies out there in the OTC and penny stock market, they don't make any money. They're losing a lot of money. Whereas this company right here, High Tide, with so many smaller brands and companies under them and with High Tide acting as a big parent company, I feel like this stock has been slept on a lot. Volume has increased recently from roughly 800,000 to 1 million volume being traded at a single day. Recently, the volume has been at 7 to 10 million volume on a daily basis. And recently, the volume is at $19 million for February 5th, 2021. There seems to be a lot of interest for a high tide. Obviously, when you have these companies under your belt and all these companies are making a lot of money with a lot of annual revenue, you will have a lot of investors. Guess what? Your Royal Cannabis is also a pretty big investor in high tide as well. You also have other major cannabis industries and also companies listed on the NASDAQ. They have been sponsoring and putting a lot of their own money into high tide. And what's even better is high tide has been announcing a lot of celebrity licenses. They are a major distributor. If you want to open a cannabis store, sometimes you may actually have to contact high tide to supply your store with products and also different items, etc. They already have a lot of celebrities working on High Tide, including Snoop Dogg, if you really care about that kind of stuff. And the brands are extremely big. And a lot of these brands were founded several years ago, so these are not new, small companies. In fact, these are pretty hefty, big companies in the cannabis industry. 
you have a lot of these industries doing really well and if you're wondering okay do they have any e-commerce sales yes they do for example grass city is a really big online shop and they have roughly 130,000 orders a year to the usa the eu uk and canada the site exceeds roughly 20 million visitors a year it's really big now a large portion of high tides business comes from retail stores and retail stores recently are extremely profitable since not every location allows shipping of cannabis that's pretty nice you have rapid expansion of retail stores brick and mortar from high tide i think cannabis is a very unique industry this is just like liquor stores there's liquor stores brick and mortar everywhere like most of the liquor that is sold in the u.s and canada are in physical stores because not every state allows shipping of liquor and it's like a really complex business if you wanna do this online. I mean, people are doing it now, but the majority of liquor sales are online. It's very similar to cannabis. The majority of cannabis sales are in brick and mortar stores than online, though there's a massive transition to online. In this current moment, you have like Weed Maps. It's a company going public and they're doing really well. And with High Tide having so many different brands under the belt and all these brands are making money and with cannabis on a rise, I think they're looking at a really, really bright future. If you check out the US cannabis retail sales, this is not online sales, this is strictly retail. It has been increasing on a rapid pace, medical and adult use. Back in 2019, it was roughly at 10 to $13 billion. That's not a really big market. But for 2024, which is in three years, it will be at around 30 to $37 billion. Essentially, you got an increase of 300 to 400% of this industry. On top of that, you do have cannabis stocks flying really, really high because of the Biden administration. Essentially, the Democrats are pushing very heavily for at least the decriminalization of marijuana and a lot of areas are slowly becoming you know, medical or legalization. You have New York, for example, it's kind of mixed. You could do medical, it's decriminalized. We also have a few states, but if you look at this map 10 years ago, most of the map was just gray. It was fully illegal, but now a lot of places, even like Alaska is fully legal. So the cannabis industry is bigger. Let's just say like the New England states became fully legalized. You know how much sales would that pour into the cannabis industry? A lot of sales and obviously high tide will benefit from this high tide is a very genius stock because they are a parent company and under their belt there's several smaller brands that are already making a lot of money i really like grass city because they have 130,000 orders a year and they're mostly working on the e-commerce sector they're extremely old more than 20 years of experience and their site exceeds 20 million visitors a year. It's a really big site, and a lot of their other companies are expanding rapidly in the brick and mortar industry. Thanks for watching, guys, and comment below. How do you guys feel about high tide? Do you guys like the stock? Comment below, and thanks for watching.